So, I'm out in Falkirk to this today again, and this is Cameron, straight across the road from me. We've got the Falkirk Bowling, which is uh, over in that direction behind that big building there, that's the Marmer Centre. It does a swimming pool and a wave machine. It used to be brilliant in its day and quite unique and new, but uh, nowadays I'm not too sure. Right, right. And where I'm going to head to is I'm heading along to the Falkirk Wheel. Uh, I'll give you some more information which will come up on the screen, hopefully, uh, when I do editing later on. So not in a, a nice place to now, just sitting behind a car. And uh, we're not far away. So I'm actually out to see my mate Goose dropping off a few stickers for him as he uh, supports his friend band The Flames. So they've got a, a gig and a club in Falkirk on Saturday or Friday this week coming. Uh, and uh, it's a, a club called the Manatee, which is uh, an old, old name that's been brought back again. This is all changed now. So. Got a lot of you in traffic here. Eh? So, what I will tell you is another place. Uh, in this area here, but probably about a mile down to the right. I said my time as a mechanical engineer with a company called Midland Bluebird. They made all the support and fix the little buses. And of course here, as you might see over there, that's Alexander's Dennis, or Alexander Dennis. And they make the buses uh, that uh, they ship them all over the world. And brings a lot of... Uh, more employment to the area, which is quite good. I remember the first time I ever had a sort of a bendy bus, which is a bus with a, a sort of hinge in the middle, so like a, a train, you could say, but uh, that was uh, I was driving a lorry, it was quite funny. So this bridge in front is just after this bridge, the left will be hitting the Union Canal. Now, I wish I probably knew, well, not the Union Canal, be hitting the uh, Turn off to go to the Falkirk Trail. There's a signpost there. Falkirk Trail. You ever watch National Geographic on Discovery Channel? For a wee town like Falkirk in Scotland, the Falkirk Trail is actually pretty famous now. There's a boardwalk across it on my left, which is really very nice for a bike to eat. But the folk of people, as I was saying, uh, it's uh, an engineering spectacular. Um, what it does is it saves, I think it's seven lots, as I say, the screen will tell you, it saves seven lots of uh, the canal lowering down from one level to another in one fancy engineering uh, work. And hopefully, we're up here, we might be able to see it. Try to figure out how we get to it again. Ah, you can see it in the distance. I've just got a lot of good things in here. Don't necessarily think I'm going to be able to get up to it. I know we've got to cross over a, the canal at one point anyway. But we might be able to have a better view of it. I'm pretty sure I'm doing this area as well. I'm not too sure if I can get up to it. You might see if I put my left up there. I have seen that, but uh, I've got all the information on the screen as well. It's on the roundabout. So, it's unfortunate, but that is a beautiful place to visit. We're in Falkirk. A couple of key places, Falkirk Field and the Helix, which has got the Kelpies. A lot of tourists come about this area now and we're going to visit us. You can never see it up there. So they've got a visitor centre and everything. Yep. 
bit from the road there, at the back end of the slide. Got to be careful. So where I'm now going, is I'm going to head from this area here, out to see my mate Goose who is working uh, in a nice steam shop which is called Candy popping up everywhere nice ice steam I feel like I'm doing adverts over here and there's a boardwalk over there at my right uh, you can never see it that's a really, really nice view it's been there it's easy myself and family and I've been there a few times now I'm going to just go this way. There's a tunnel up here to the right. Just to go over to This is a uh, new back road from Cameron heading across to Lambert and over the, on my left over there there's an industrial estate and that's where uh, they've got go kart and do that a few times in the road. I might add the last time I was out. There's a uh, family member Jake Martin, who was up at Avonmore. I'm sure I bet him. The price? Yeah, it was price. And there's a video on uh, the screen of uh, the rematch. Went on uh, the Sunday. I had such a good laugh and it was a blink of an eye of a difference in speed from uh, me uh, coming first place and Jake coming second. So we agreed that night we'll go back on the Monday and we raced on the faster carts, uh, which was the 270cc. And it was another close race to be honest, but I did win. I did win. Yeah, just along the road there, if you come out here, turn on the left, and just go straight along the road there. Uh, that's where I said my engineering, or mechanical engineering, and up there is a, the golf club for Camus, where I used to go with my dad. The right, Camus Golf Club, or Falkirk is it called now, I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, that's where I sort of learnt from my dad, and it was uh, many moons ago now. I'm actually teaching my son Finlay, teaching him to play golf now. He started it probably a month, six weeks now, uh, and hitting a really good ball. But like anything with golf, you see it and you think you should be able to do it. And it's in the shoulder, it's more of the ball from just swinging and hitting. Uh, and he's getting it, he's definitely getting it. Uh, my partner and friend Susie on Friday with a few friends and we went to see the Team Tribute Band which was a good diggle.
the main street. Um, I'd be looking to go right along the dead end. We're saying we're out in Prime Mount with my Susie and the building straight in front of me, which is called Grand up to the left, is called the Dolby Hall. And that's where many of the guys to DJ. Uh, I've done a shuffle down the DJ gig a few years ago, but we were at the Queen's uh, tribute band there on Friday. They say it's still a cracking venue. It was a good bunch. 